Hello and welcome to another update video about INJ. Um, yeah, no change to the last video. I think we can keep up the wave count that we discussed last time. So just taking a bigger picture into account, we had a wave one to the upside into May 21, an ABC structure to the downside into June 22. And now we are moving higher and we had a possible bottoming process. Yeah. The, I have to tell you, this is one of the charts which is less clear. It is one of the charts where I, they are okay as long as the support is holding, but they are not crystal clear because this could ease up, e, this could easily be a three wave move up, yeah, and the move down in five waves. So if there are better charts. I, I tell you that I'm warning here, okay. But as long as bullish support is holding, you know, it we can focus on higher. But just don't be surprised if this breaks down. If it breaks down, it should do it before it goes above this wave too high here at $14.90. Yeah, if we get above that level, we are more clearly bullish on this chart. Until then, there is still possible downside pressure could because you can count easily a five wave move down to the um, bear market lows. And then this here is at the moment a WXY structure to the upside in the bearish wave count, which could even extend a little bit higher. But as long as it stays below 1490, there is still significant downside pressure and it could take it to new lows. Just be aware of that. Um, this is built into the chart and it would need to take a break above 1490 to at least reduce that potential a little bit for more downside. Yeah, but again, at the moment, um, I think the focus could be on higher. Just again, this is one of the less clear charts. So I would not be surprised if this breaks down. So. Just don't be surprised. It is not clearly bullish, but we have a possible bullish wave count here and the support area did hold. So it touched our support around 530 here a couple of times um, last week. That was no a couple of weeks ago. And we had our wave one to the upside here of the December lows. Now five wave move up. <laughs> it's actually more like a three wave move. OK, I did count it as a truncation as a five wave move up. Yeah, or it's rather even a diagonal, which is unfolding here, which might be more adequate, but it doesn't make a difference in the short term. I gave you a support area. Price has been holding it. And as long as it's holding that um, low of the 11th of June, it has a chance to rally now in a third wave. Now I'm thinking about maybe I will do that for the next video. I'm thinking about changing it, the bullish count to a diagonal structure. Then this would be an ABC structure to the upside here in white wave one, an ABC to the downside in wave two, low could be in, yeah. And then the move up in a third wave would now also be very choppy as an ABC structure. So it, mean, it means that we have to expect, um, we have to expect corrections and pullbacks where we normally don't expect them. But it could still be a, th a third wave, which, well, it, it should still take us ideally to the 1.618 extension. Yeah, we're talking here about roughly, yeah, 1950 in the third wave. Now, I think that is a bit too high for a diagonal. So I'd rather focus here on the one to one ratio first, around $14.12. And that is pretty much around that wave too high. Yeah? So I wouldn't be surprised to get a bounce there. And then like a moment of truth, can we break above resistance, which would be more bullish? Or is it going to turn down from here in a larger three wave structure to the upside? So next micro resistance, obviously we're heading up here to the upside, testing that trend channel from below. So it would need to break above that end the B wave high for more of a rally to the upside to the next resistance at $10. $10 is significant resistance. Okay, so we need to get there first. And I think above $10, there isn't much there. And I think it can rally quite quickly to $14, that one-to-one -one ratio. But first of all, the bulls need to break above the trend channel or into the trend channel again, need to break above the B wave high, and then $10 is the next target. And above that level, we're looking at 14. And that is really the main decision point where it's all about the long-term chart, where it might go a little bit more bullish compared to downside pressure, which is still very much there. And don't get me wrong, this blue count in a WXY is also still very much valid as long as price is below $10. Okay, very important. That would be a three wave top. It's just that the move down isn't clearly impulsive at this stage. 
Yeah, it was more like a three wave move down, which is why I'm slightly in favor of the white wave count here, which is at least short term more bullish. Yeah, that's my update about INJ. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.